everyone, this is Jeff Lloyd with Cascade Fire Equipment, Medford, Oregon, here to show you guys a new brush truck that we've got going out. This brush truck sits on a Ford F550 chassis. It has a 400 gallon pump package manufactured by Cascade Fire. It also features a buck stop bumper and a federal signal lighting package. This is the console for the truck right here from Troy Products. It's a wide body console designed for the 2020 F550. This particular console has got two radios. We've got a BK and a Motorola installed in here. We've also got a water slave gauge that will tell you the level of the water tank in the back of the pump package. We've got our PA mic right here. In addition to that, we've got the federal signal pathfinder. So this is gonna be your lighting control uh, and your siren control. Underneath that, we've got a plate here with four 12 volt chargers, charging ports, and one duplex USB charging port. Sunglass holder, two beverage holders, and then we've got a uh, portable charging plate which has two uh, portable Motorola chargers and then we've also got a uh, notebook edition right here uh, for any, any any kind of notebooks or uh, manuals that you want to keep with this truck. So just to show you some of the close-ups here on the bumper, we do have a couple of PIA fog lights on here. We also have dual siren speakers on this unit. We've got a manual inch and a half discharge. Underneath the brush guard here, we have a 12,500 pound worn winch. We've got two 24 dual color LED federal signal micro pulses. And we also have two more up here on the grill, 24 LED dual color micro pulses. So I'll take you over to the side of the truck here. So this truck features a, uh, a full complement of Cascade Fire manufactured aluminum boxes. And these boxes are all made from uh, eighth inch flat aluminum. Uh, they're cut on our plasma cutter and then we weld them in house. The finish on these is a hard powder coat for durability. We've had the powder uh, custom made to match the chassis color. So just to go over some of the boxes really quick. We've got one pass through cross box right here. If you look closely, there's a hook system that we've got for hanging web gear. On top, we've got a tray here for a hose lay, which is also accessible from the top of the tank. Underneath that, we've got a 36 inch underbody box. Great for storing uh, Class A foam, uh, great for storing any extra fluids or anything for the truck. And then on the side here, we've got one big long six foot box that has a drop down and a lift up door. So on the bottom section here, it's turtle tiled on the bottom. We've got one powder coated adjustable shelf. On the top section, we've got the turtle tile as well in here. We've also got a hard back plate for mounting tools and equipment to. All the boxes are lit with LED lighting. Uh, they're also all have drain holes just in case you get any water in there for some reason. They're also vented so you could put a uh, wet hose in there, you could put uh, chainsaws, anything that's going to uh, off gas a little bit uh, so it'll vent. Um, in addition to that, we are also using our Cascade Hydro Flange, which gives us a dual seal uh, to protect the, uh, the inside of the compartments from water, dust, dirt, debris. Here's our under the seat wiring box. This is where all of the wiring for our unit can be found. On the outside of the box, we've got a master power switch. The box is made of three quarter inch polypropylene with a powder coated aluminum lid. It's fully vented on the front side. Lifting the tray up, you can see this is where all the electrical for the unit is. We've got our lighting control, our siren control, we've got our expansion module, our OBD2 module, and we've also got our Kuzmol auto charger underneath the seat as well. And this lid just comes down like this, and the seat folds right on top of it, out of the way. So here we are at the back of the truck right here. Um, like I stated earlier, this truck features a 400 gallon pump package, 400 gallons of water, uh, right here in a polypropylene tank. We've got some sight gauges so you can see what your water level's at. We also have an electronic gauge right here on the control panel that shows that off. Um, this unit right here is powered by our CF120 18 horsepower pump. So you're gonna get about 300 pounds PSI max pressure and a max volume of 120 gallons a minute. Controlling the pump package is our stainless steel cascade control panel with removable face. The faceplate has been lasered with our fiber laser to indicate all the controls. Uh, it includes an electric primer, a low pressure shutoff switch to protect the pump and the engine, a oil warning light, a stop run start key ignition, a green powder indicator light, a 0 to 400 psi gauge with a 30 inch vacuum for drafting, choke, throttle, 
and a digital water gauge. It also has a winterization port on the right side of the panel for winterizing the unit, and it has a work light control for working uh, at the pump panel. The engine's uh, supplied by a four gallon aluminum fuel tank. We've got one inch and a half discharge, one two inch draft line, and one two and a half inch hydrant fill. We also have a Pan-A aluminum booster reel that holds 200 feet of hose. Underneath there, we've got one storage drawer. Hold your nozzle and your shutoff, the manual crank for the reel. Under here, we've got another storage container for your suction hose. So you can fit three two inch by eight foot PVC suction hose for drafting. Backup camera's right above there. And then over here, we've got a, a step to get up on top of the unit. Valve control for the hose tray right here and our tank valve for recirculating. Right up above this platform, we've got our equipment basket up top and we've got a, a 36 inch latitude traffic bar along with two functional work lights for working on the area on the pump package. Finally over here, we've got our live hose tray. It features one uh, equipment drawer underneath. To deploy the hose tray, just two butterfly latches, drops down. You've got the ability to just pull inch and a half right off and fight fire. To reload it, you just lift this up right here and then you can come right here from the side and reload it. That's it.